Okay team, we better be careful, because sparks are about to fly. Here we go. So straight away, the sparks are in orange. Obviously, we can't miss out the blue too. And it is a very bright blue. It's a beauty. Obviously got the, uh, the little tape as well down the bottom of the bat. And we slide all the way around. We have a little look, maintaining all the, the orange in the graphics at the bottom and a little bit of white at the top. Following it on up there with a the grip. It looks like we've got that pro light grip in again. Plus we've got a little colourway at the top. But I've digressed. Let's pass to Neil for a little bit more information on this one. Neil, it's so new, text come on. Specs. So, um, in comes the spark. Profile wise, again, got a high spine with some concave um, shape coming back out of it. Yeah. Still very good thick edges as we as just come, yeah. you expect that as standard now in most bats. So lots of wood to work with. Um, quite forgiving, I think. I think that fine makes things, doesn't it? Quite forgiving. Uh, I think this one's going to probably have a slightly higher sweet spot than something like the Prima in the range. Yeah. Um, but let's have a look with a bat mallet. Yeah, so just fractionally higher in terms of a really good sweet spot. I'd say it's um, mid to high in terms of yeah. probably the really so, sweet hitting zone. So starting here and ending up a little further. Yeah, up, it? might suit more of a back foot player. Yeah. Um, but again, we're talking margins. Um, we often talk in these videos about exactly where these points are. For most club players um, and reasonable county players, that that hitting point is probably a bit of a misnomer. I think you, you'll be fine with whichever bat you go with. But from a technical point of view, that's where that sweet spot is in the spark. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned the grip. It's the yeah. pro light grip, very light, but not in terms of uh, weight. It's like the old chevron grip. I like the I like the colour matching. It's nice touch, um, isn't it? One thing you picked up on, Rich, I'm not sure if the viewers will, blue tape around the bottom of the yes. grip. We don't often see that. We don't. Um, normally it's a black, and I like that just a tiny attention to detail in terms of matching the tape to the colours. Yeah. Just sets it off a bit more, I think. It does, doesn't it? Um, Pick-up wise, um, for me, Really well balanced to pick up this. I think it's, you know, I wouldn't say it's light, I wouldn't say it's heavy, it's really well rounded, um, giving you a really good, well balanced pickup. So, um, what do you think? Was that something you'd use? Well, I'm just thinking, I mean, I'm a fan of the, the shortened blade. Mm. I think that's good because I think you get a little bit more wood in the in the hitting zones uh, and down the bottom end of the bat. So, I quite like that, but I think the balance of those is tough. Um, so, if you don't quite get that right, I think for me that struggles. Um, I like, as you say, I like the pickup art, the balance, because the wood is a little bit further up the bat, I feel everything's all a little bit closer to me and I would want it a little bit lower. So I'd want to feel slightly balanced and slightly unbalanced down the bottom end. So for me, it's a no. What about you? I think for me, this bat sits somewhere between the Prima and the Chroma. Yes. You've still got a high spine, you haven't got the real rounded shape that the chrome has got, so that balance is somewhere in between the two. Yeah. So if you were unsure, I think it's a good solid bat to go for. Um, I, I, I wouldn't be averse to using this myself. I think um, it, it's got that good balance pickup, um, and depending on what grade you go for, it will depend on the willow, but for me it's a, it's a solid bat in the range, and I think it will do well. And we say don't talk about, we, we, we often talk about not choosing bats in terms of colours. Yeah. I think the colours are quite striking in this range and I think that will be a popular choice for, for lots of people. Are you going yes or are you going no? I'm going more towards the side of yes. Probably my favourite so far. Right. Will it stay that way? We'll see. 